Hi, Kristen here. I am here for What's in the Box Wednesday. So, um, excuse my mess, but it's been such a busy last two weeks because like a lot of you mamas know out there, I am sending one of my kids back to school. So tomorrow is his first day back. He's going to be a seventh grader. Oh. He's so tall and um, yeah, I'm not ready for it at all. I, I'm probably not like a lot of moms. I really don't want to send him back to school. <laughs> I prefer him home. <laughs> but anyway, so it's been a busy um, time the last few weeks. Um, getting ready for that and also um working and you know juggling in life just life you know how it is so here we are though for another what's in the box Wednesday and um uh so what about I guess maybe this box next I guess I mean we'll just go right on down the line this is um, the seventh episode of What's in the Box Wednesday, or seventh video, not episode, like, <laughs> what am I thinking? We're not that big, but someday maybe, so, but, um, yeah, seventh video for What's in the Box Wednesday, which, you know, I will say, I have had a lot of pricing going on and so much to do I'm not even caught up on it like the crystal the um oh my gosh the little valentines the hankies the you know, everything that you've seen I'm still pricing a lot of it it's it's not complete like it's a total process um you know, you have to enter everything, like you have to catalog it, you have to enter, you know, you have to decide what you want to price everything at. Um, so that could, you know, also lead to looking things up online just to make sure everything's fair and kosher. You know, you don't want to overprice, you don't want to underprice, you don't, you know... I mean, this is your living, so you have to not only make it fair for everyone else, but fair for you too. And so it's been a tough task. And um, even though I have unboxed so many items in the What's in the Box Wednesdays, I still have a lot of pricing to do. So like I said, catalog then you you know that includes pictures that includes like things that maybe need a little explanation like dimensions um you know so you take in measurements you're um making sure that you have the best description possible the best price possible because like i said you don't want to overprice either you don't want to undercut yourself. You want to make it fair. That's all. That's all we want to do is be fair. And so anyway, um, all right. So, you know, I've got my plate full, just like a lot of you do. <laughs> and that's what's going on right now. So even though I've come this far, I'm still having a lot to do behind the scenes so this is why I look so ratty so I apologize like wow it's a mess <laughs> but anyway let's go with the next box okay so here it is I just opened it up you know here's the it should be like unboxing the next tote like there's boxes and totes. So this says it's an iron, a sunbeam. 
spray steam or dry iron. Let's see um, what it could. Oh my goodness. So no, it's not that. But apparently my mother stored um, her, oh, <laughs> her wedding cake top in here. Um, so I'm going to have to, oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't think I'll have to figure out actually if that, if that's theirs. So here's a heating pad. Yes. My God. Heating pad is my best friend. Anyway, this one's from my childhood. I totally remember this. There's nothing better than the old school heating pads, though. Seriously. I have bought new ones, and they're nothing like these old ones. Nothing. I don't know why. Why? Why is everything made so cheap anymore? So, anyway, I guess this one is made... Is it made in Mississippi? Hmm. Hattiesburg, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Maybe that's why, because, you know, the people of Mississippi know exactly what we need. I don't know. And looks like some gift bags, some Christmas. Oh, I remember this. My mom liked this Christmas bell. And, um, I guess I should remind everybody that all the stuff in here, these beginning boxes, are the things that we threw in last minute. So these were all the things that were left towards the end. And there's so much. Um, okay, I'm going to have to pause and go through it and let you all see what everything is. Um, in the end, because, oh my god, I can tell there's so much. Oh, this is my mom's favorite right here. She had this displayed in one of her jelly cabinets. It's beautiful. Okay, so here we are. Here's some of the, the um, items found in this tote. This is beautiful. It is um, a TV lamp. Vintage TV lamp. It's gorgeous. It's a swan. And you can see um, it's so dark right now, I can't tell, but it's signed. It has a name, a number, and everything for this lamp. So it is a beautiful lamp um, out of California somewhere looks like so made in the USA it's pristine beautiful and um, oh my mom liked things like this you know um, she had her little shop and she would put feather quill pins and different things and for people to write with and uh, looks like also um, These are, this is a little um, outline of their yard when they had their yard done. And um, so maybe I can take this paper and send it to the people that purchased their home. And maybe they'll appreciate this. So, um... It was all done back in 2007, it looked like. And um, everything's listed, what they have, like daylilies, um, maiden grass, uh, red knockout rose, um, prairie fire crab tree, magic carpet spires, blue star juniper, and there's so much more. So... I can send that along to um, the new owners of their beautiful home that they built together, which is another whole story someday. 
and um, it looks like I found, you know, I found some personal cards. Um, and of course, mom dated them. Um, this was from 2008. And this looks like a card that I gave my mom. Uh, give me a minute here and I'll see. Yes, from your daughter. Just when I thought you couldn't be any greater as a mother, you became an amazing grandmother. Thanks, Mom, for giving my little family the same love and nurturing that you've given me my whole life. Happy Mother's Day. I couldn't ask for more. I love you. Happy Mother's Day, love, sis. She used to call my little girl Manny. Sorry, her name is Maddie, but... My mom had many uh, names, nicknames for my little girl. <laughs> she was so proud of my little girl. And that is speaking of from her. So, <laughs> my daughter used to call my mom Gama. And we'll see what it says. Real quick. Gama, when I was little, I thought you were the best grandma anyone could ever wish for. Some things never change. Now that I'm not little, so little anymore, I still think you're the best grandma a person could ever hope for. I love you. Happy birthday. Love, Maddie. See? And don't say, aw, because you will embarrass me. <laughs> Isn't that how it is? <laughs> aw. I said it. <laughs> so there. Anyway, and for some reason, there was a burnout light bulb, okay, in this tote. And this plate. Which is some kind of, um, I don't know if it's Reed and Barton or, um, oh, Rogers. It's numbered. It's beautiful, beautiful silver plate. So, and my mom loved reading the newspaper and she loved her whole life collecting articles. Um, we're in the St. Louis area in Midwest, Illinois, closer to St. Louis, Missouri. And, um, anyway, she saved articles upon articles upon articles. And it looks like here's some obituaries and different things to other articles. Poems. You name it, she saved them. And here's some more. She was all about supporting our troops and veterans, as we all are. And um, I can't even tell you how much I have of this. It's a lot. <laughs> And, uh, what do you do with it? Tell me, what do you do? Do you read it and put it in, um, like a safe place? Or, like, do you put it in, um, a, a book and sell it? Or what do you do? You know, look, she's got this one. This must be special. I don't even know. Um, why is this in an envelope from 2016, you know? Uh, thanks for reading. It's been fun. So this must be have been one of her favorite um, journalists who retired, I'm guessing. 
And anyway, so here's a beautiful plate. On to more. <laughs> Let's see. It is um, made in the USA. Um, it says this pattern will not fade. It's um, permacol. What does permacol mean? I have no idea. It is oven proof and universal. So it's a cool plate. It kind of reminds me of something I've seen at my dad's parents' home. I'm not sure, but it could be. And more personal items. My cousin, Jason and Crystal, cousins. This is their little boy, Grady. His first car, his first car, six months old. How cute is that? What a baby doll. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, I got lots of pictures. This is my little girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, that's mine. Oh, this is my, okay. This is my mama right here. And my grandmother. Oh, she's my second mama right there. She's so good to me. Anyway, that is my grandma, my mother, her older sister, Carrie, her bro only brother, Rich, and her little sister, Nancy. I had these photos remade, I remember. Oh, it was in Art Hill at Forest Park, Missouri. Taken in the summer of 1957. Yeah, wow. And there's more family included in this picture. Look at my beautiful grandma and my mama. Look at them. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? This was my grandma's sister. Her name was Tootie. She was married to a really wonderful man. Oh, that's my grandma and her son, my Uncle Rich. He, neither one of them are here any longer. That's my Aunt Carrie, and I don't know if that is her son Steve or, uh, or my, yeah, it's Steve. So, oh, and these are my nieces and nephews, niece and nephews. Oh, cute. Oh, oh my gosh, this is AJ, Adam Yokus Jr., <laughs> as a baby. This is my magpie, my little girl, Maddie. Here's another AJ picture. My uh, nephews, nephews, and niece with Santa. Oh, my little girl and my mama. They were a pair. And as you can tell, my daughter was naked forever. Like, <laughs> I think she was four years old here. And um, we swore um, that she would continue to do that till she was 16 or able to go out on a date anyway. Oh, four and a half. And so this is my family. Right here. My mom, my dad, and um, my nieces and nephews. This is my brother, myself, my girl, who is actually, um, she is uh, 25 now. Oh, I bet this is Grady too. Yes, it is. Grady Wynn Prance. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to... I know what I'm going to do with these pictures anyway. I'm just going to send them to the rightful owners. And uh, so, it's wonderful. I believe that's all that was in this particular box. I don't know what this is. Another newspaper article um, from 2008. 
Edward statue um, in Edwardsville, Illinois. So, yeah, my mom was a history buff. She loved books, which there's going to be plenty of those in so many more of these boxes. Um, my mom and dad both were collectors of many things. So, again, I thank you so, all so much for um, coming along with me on my journey of unboxing a box or maybe even two at a time on uh, What's in the Box Wednesday. I hope that um, you can, you know, follow us and um, sub subscribe, share this information because, you know, I know I'm not alone and I love to, um, I love to be able to feel that and know that myself, like, you know, and I want others to know that they're not alone as well. Um, so if you could please share in, um, our channel and subscribe to it and just let everyone know that, um, all the people that are going through the same stuff as what I am and Chrissy as well, my partner in crime, the other half of this HMS, um, just, you know, no, you're not alone. We're here and I'm grateful that you have my back too. And, uh, just know that, um, I feel it, you know, and um, I'm grateful and thankful for the opportunity to be able to go through all of this. I wish my parents could have been the ones to do it more than anything in the world. That's all I ever wanted was for them to be able to. But both of them, their lives were cut short. They could be here another 20 plus years, you know, and... um but I'm grateful for the years that I did have. And um, I'm grateful to be able to do this. This is like they're so therapeutic for me. Um, I went through a bunch of grief share. And um, different things that um, I did to go through grief. And... Um, I hope whatever I do here helps someone else. That's all. That's all I want to do is help you. So you're helping me too as well. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate you. And um, come back for another What's in the Box Wednesday. And we'll see what's, what's in the next one. And the next one. And the next one because there's so many. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks. You all have a good evening.